What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to go over my wish list for things I want to see for Sonic in 2022. And I'm going to be talking about Rangers, Prime, and everything that I just want to see and exactly how it should be, at least in my opinion. But before we hop into this, we have a word from our sponsor. And today's sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is still, once again, a great place to learn some new skills or hone your skills that you already have into something even better. And they have many different classes you can choose from such as film and video, fine art, illustration, music, photography, web development, and much, much more. And for, for today's class, I recommend the L's Editing and Proofreading Masterclass, Dominate Writing, Punctuation, and Grammar. I like to write and I like to make scripts and I know some of you guys are out there writing as well. And sometimes it can be a little tough to remember to put some proper grammar or use proper punctuation. So this class is pretty beneficial and Skillshare offers many classes like this one and remember Skillshare is specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching premium classes so you can stay focused and it's less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link will get a free trial of Skillshare premium memberships so or go on and explore your creativity shout out to Skillshare now let's move on so let's just knock it out the way. The first thing we should talk about is Sonic Rangers or Sonic 2022. There's actually been some new information going around about this stuff. I haven't really covered it because there's just been a lot going on, but a lot of that stuff is interesting to me. And I think it kind of adds value, I guess, to information we have about Sonic Rangers because we don't really have a lot of real information about it. But one of the newest things that Azuka said is that Sonic Rangers or Sonic 2022 will not be following the traditional action style gameplay that previous Sonic games have been following. So obviously this has kind of been hinted at by those leaks and it kind of feels like it confirms those leaks in a way. We're probably going to get an open world Sonic game that's going to be action oriented and RPG like. So basically a Sonic action RPG. So my wish list ideas would probably be in the realm of a open world action RPG I guess. So one of the major things that stuck out from me from the leak was the combat being mashy. I hope that actually isn't the case and I hope the game gets fine tuned to where Sonic can do enough stuff to make it interesting. So I would want Sonic to have more than just upgrade abilities like the spin cycle we heard about where he goes in a circle and destroys all the enemies. I think they should give him like different combo routes and stuff like that and hopefully be more interesting than something like Sonic Boom where you just mash what is it X on the Wii U gamepad or whatever Nintendo has their button layout as and that's pretty much it. It needs to be way more interesting than that because this game sounds like it's gonna actually have like some Sonic Boom like elements which had RPG elements, which is with, you know, the action combat in the RPG environment. Sonic will likely have a skill tree in this game, and I hope this skill tree is varied enough and not just bland, because I know this is, you know, Sonic Team's first attempt at a game like this, so I'm hoping that, you know, it's interesting enough, and it's not just, oh, uh, extra combo here. Kind of like the Werehog. The Werehog has a lot of cool stuff, but the enemy design doesn't really force you to use all of those combos, so you can kind of just mash through the game. And I hope that isn't really the case with Sonic Rangers, and that some enemies require different abilities and actually make you think a little bit. But I'm not necessarily saying that Sonic should have like Dark Souls enemy design, because at the end of the day, Sonic's fast, and things don't need to be a pace breaker if they don't need to, so things should still be fast at the same time and speedy and quick and snappy to the point where it feels like you're not necessarily slowing yourself down to fight and more so you're utilizing Sonic's speed in the game to fight and once you're done the enemy encounter you can just keep on moving forward instead of like Sonic Heroes where it feels like you actually have to slow down to hit stuff or you switch to Knuckles and just jump in the air and throw Sonic and Tails in midair standing still or staying still in the air. I hope that's not really the case because I think that's one of the biggest issues with games like Sonic Heroes is it's pace breaking a lot. And I think that could easily be fixed by like really making Sonic use the environment to his attributes. And as cringe as it sounds, but kind of like how they always say Spider-Man games like Spider-Man PS4 makes you feel like Spider-Man or Batman Arkham City makes you feel like Batman. Sonic Rangers should make you feel like Sonic. Based off the leaks, I really wonder what we're going to be doing in this Sonic open world game. Uh, I feel like there should be a lot of platforming in this open world. And I think the best way to really look at this is kind of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's not necessarily open world, but each planet is technically its own open world. And I think if they tackled it that way, 
it would be pretty interesting because you're literally just running around and platforming in, in an open world. I hope it's not just bland and, you know, lifeless and there's not much going on in this forest that's been described. I think that would be uh, pretty lame if it ended up like that. If there was lots of stuff for Sonic to go into caves or like, I don't know, maybe dungeons and stuff. I think that would be cool. Really, really cool. And I think there would be another gameplay style that we heard about which has to do with the boost thing to get like chaos emeralds or something like that during the leak stuff i think that aspect is probably not going to be as big of an aspect as probably the open world stuff but i think that will probably like replace boost i guess for a lot of people and that stuff doesn't sound more than like a special stage so i wonder if they'll actually integrate boost in the open world at some point in this game I think that would be something that would be pretty cool if you actually could unlock like a boost for Sonic to make him travel faster in an open world. Because honestly, I mean, if the world's that big, fast travel would be cool. But if it's Sonic we're talking about, he should be able to get through that open world quick. So in an open world game for Sonic, I wouldn't mind them limiting Sonic's speed to say like the adventures type of speed and then later on giving him access to boost to let you just traverse everything quicker. I think that would be pretty cool. One thing I want to see in the game is actually Sonic Lost World Parkour. Sonic Lost World Parkour is not a bad idea. It was just implemented poorly because the level design is not that great in Sonic Lost World if I'm being honest. And and the game doesn't actually teach you how to properly use parkour so a lot of people just go out their whole game without even really using it to its fullest potential if they put it in an open world setting i think that would be really cool and allow traversing stuff at a fast speed be more interesting if you're going super fast and there's a little hurdle you can just jump over it i think that would be really really cool as for the story and the characterization if i'm being 100 percent honest i've kind of given up hope on like seeing sonic kind of return or progress as a character in the way that personally I and a lot of people like to see him progress. I feel like it's not going to change that much and we're not going to go back to how it was. So I kind of just take the L on that. I kind of just accept that Sonic himself isn't really the same anymore. So I personally don't have a lot of big wishes for the characterization and story. But one thing I will say is I would like to see more lore added into the game and just a bit more effort on the story rather than feeling like a random Saturday morning cartoon. I feel like the Saturday morning cartoon is cool, but it should work only for Saturday morning cartoons and not for the games. I feel like the game should have a bit more meaning, a, a something to them, like a lesson. I feel like a lot of the games in the adventure era had lessons to them, at least probably except Shadow the Hedgehog. But a lot of those games felt like they were trying to tell you something. Nowadays, it just feels like turn your brain off, we fun, instead of trying to tell you something. And I feel like the last game it was really trying to push a message was definitely Sonic and the Black Knight. And I kind of want that back, because right now, it just feels like kind of soulless with jokes. Feels like a Marvel movie without the substance. The last thing I kind of want to see in Rangers, which I don't think is going to happen, is other playable characters. An open world setting is the perfect place to introduce Tails and Knuckles playable in a big open space. Let them fly around. Give Tails a fly meter. Knuckles works perfectly. You don't really have to change him in 3D or limit him in any way because it's already been done before. And I think, boom, perfect. It'd just be a fun little thing to mess around with. And I don't know how they would do that. I don't even know if Sonic's friends are going to be in this game. I have no idea about that. I don't think anybody does except the devs. So that's mainly what I want to see in Sonic Rangers. And I'll probably talk about Sonic Prime and everything else that I want to see in 2022 in a different video. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and make sure you comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.